Alright, so the great legendary boxing trainer Teddy Atlas saying the same thing that I've been saying. Got Ryan just went away from his initial game plan, bro. Um, he got impatient, got too greedy, and it cost him in the end. He didn't use his height. He was he gave up on his jab pretty quick, and he just let Javante take advantage of it. Um you got to give credit to Javante as well. I'm not trying to take nothing away from him. He kept his jab up, so he wasn't getting completely dominated in that area to where Ryan could just feel comfortable to keep doing what he was doing. Ryan, I guess, like I said, he got bored, got impatient. He said so himself, and he just pretty much was just like, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to end it here right now. Um, that was just poor judgment on his part. His trainers was telling him to do certain things, but he just wasn't doing it. I remember his trainer when you heard him at his corner, was saying, hey, man, um, set up your right. Set up your overhand right. Just just do that. But he, like I said, you got to keep do- using your jab to keep that going. You know what I'm saying? If all you're doing is just kind of throwing combinations here and there and you kind of just swinging, right? There's no there's no intention. There's no, um, what's the word I'm really looking for? You know, purpose. That's the same word, but I really want to say purpose. But there's no purpose with your punches, right? Every time you saw Tank throw something, it had purpose. It had meaning. Even if he really didn't hit, it was just to make Ryan think certain things of how he was going to approach. Because remember, like I said, Tank is elusive, right? So not only is he a powerful puncher, but he's also great defensively where he can be a great counter puncher and then dodge shots. And I think also, like I said, the main thing was the footwork. The footwork is what I think really won Tank the fight. Because I feel like he was making Ryan uncomfortable by his toe placement. And Ryan couldn't really get his footwork going because he's probably not the most coordinated person. He probably really ain't got, you know what I'm saying, footwork like that if you really think about it. Right? Tank is an athletic person. You know what I mean? Tank got mobility. Tank is, uh, he got agility, all that. Stamina, all that. So, Using his IQ, using his height advantage, because all Ryan had to do is keep his jab and use his height advantage. But at the same time, I also feel Tank being so short and being able to dunk, duck the way that he was also helped him out a little bit. Because if you would notice it, when Tank was stationary, his head movement was still good, but he was like moving in a way since he's so short where Ryan couldn't really catch him because he was trying to hit him with that left hook. So, yeah, man, it was so many different layers to this fight, man. It wasn't just one thing. It definitely wasn't his injury, and it definitely wasn't the rehydration clause. Ryan got too impatient. He didn't let it go farther than what it could, and he gassed out pretty early. That's really just that simple.